Hi guys, it's Deb. I was playing around with dimensional pearls and I came up with some other ideas that you can use them for. Uh, the first thing is dimensional pearls is kind of like, it goes on like it's um, acrylic paint, but it's iridized and you have the ability to make it transparent with the more water that you add, almost like a glaze. So I have a lot of different colors here that I've had in my stash and I never did anything with them. So now we're going to play around. I'm going to show you a few things that I came up with. Okay, the first thing that I came up with is, of course, like I showed you before, is you can use them to add to a scrapbooking page or a card or a mini just to do definition work, define certain areas on a layout or in your mini on a tag or something. If you stamped a design, you can go around and you can highlight and define the areas of the stamp. Okay? Like that. Isn't that pretty? Then if you want, and this is called terracotta. It's very, very pretty. So I'm going to put some terracotta down. If you want, you can use it by adding a little water. Let me get my brush. By adding a little water to your brush and then to the dimensional pearls, you can paint with it. And the more water you add to it, the more iridescent it becomes. And it still has all that shimmer and shine to it. Now let's say I wanted to, you know, add value and go darker up here. Or let's say on the left hand side of the of this. I just want to go darker. You can build it up, make it heavier. There you go. And make it darker. So here you have it here. So see how light I was be I was able to go? And then you can build it up and make it darker. And the whole time you're still keeping that iridized uh, shimmer that it has to it. Okay, and the other thing that you can do with it, and I'm going to put down, it's called bottle. I'm going to put bottle down. It's like a green, a really, really pretty iridized green. And you can take a brush and you can paint. Paint on your stamp. and there we go now let's do it again and look at how pretty you get a lighter version of that it's pretty so if you guys have these in your stash and you don't know what to do with them you can drag them out now and start using them then uh, let's see what else did I come up with Oh, and then I took a stencil, and I was like, well, let's see how they are if you want to just paint with them. And uh, you could just hold the stencil down and paint around. And it works well there, too. It doesn't bleed underneath the stencil, although I'm not ha I'm not really holding the stencil down that tight. It doesn't run underneath there. It doesn't blot up. It's not really, really heavy. It's thicker than a watercolor, but it's not as thick as uh, a regular acrylic paint. And like I said, I wasn't holding down the stencil, but it didn't bleed underneath it. All right. Then what we all love is to paint our flowers. And look what it did. It's beautiful. I think it's so much better than the Perfect Pearls. Because Perfect Pearls, it's hard to get it on your flower. Um, it's usually just one consistency. Unless you add a lot more and you try to get it thicker. This is just so much simpler. Because all you're doing is taking this bottle. And you can actually probably just paint your flower with the bottle. But when you put it on, not only is, is it iridized, but it's, it's hard already. Here's one. 
that I didn't put any embossing powder on. See how pretty that is? You see the shimmer? And it's hard. I mean, if I wanted to really make it harder, I didn't. I don't have to use the uh, embossing powder. I could use glossy accents on that. Look at this one, how pretty that one came out. You can see the shine of the embossing powder. And I don't like to heat up my, all my embossing powder and totally melt it. I like to leave a little. On this one, I put the green. Okay, the, um, the bottle. And then I use lettuce on the edges. Alright, so oh, on this one, I used the bottle. I put the embossing powder. I melted it just a little. I left it some weight on there of the embossing powder, but while it was hot, I bent this up, and they stay like that now. You can bend them. Alright, so now we're going to do one quick while we have a few minutes. Okay, what color should we use? How about it? Express? Ah, it's not really a flower color. We have, uh, let's do the terracotta because I have, I have that out. Grab a brush that's not hard. Okay. So I'm going to leave part of this really, really heavy and I'm going to leave part of it really thick. So you could see the difference. And this will go over colored ones. They don't have to be cream or white flowers. Now this side I made heavy, right? Now watch over here. I'm going to add water. I'm going to thin it out. It's so pretty. It's got all those sparkly, iridescent things in there. You wonder how they do that, right, when they make it. Okay. Now, maybe you can't tell because of the camera, but I'm telling you, this side over here is, like, really thick, and this is thin over here. So we're going to take it. We're going to dip it in our powder, and you have to dip it in your powder while it's wet. Okay, so I'm going to dip that in there. Now we're going to get our gun. Sorry for the noise. Now I like to leave mine, like I said, where I don't melt all the embossing powder. If you want to melt it all, just keep your gum back. Don't get it too, too hot. If it starts to bubble up, that's fine. Just take your brush and hit it while it's, uh, you know, melting. But this is the side here that I use very, very little paint on. And this side I use more paint. But look at how pretty that is. So here, if you want, I like, like I said, to keep it uh, where it's less melted, the embossing powder, but now I'm going to do it more. Look at how pretty that is. Just bring your um, your heating gun in and out so it doesn't get too, too hot because then the embossing powder will bubble up. But it's beautiful. They come out so, so pretty. So I hope you guys are going to try this. All right, so now we have some more things that we can do with these dimensional pearls that I'm sure I'm not the only one that have gone out and gotten all these different colors and didn't know what to do with them. Alright, so leave a comment. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.